So as far as the process of college application uh, coaching goes on, on my end, I'll start with a brainstorming session. So for the first one to usually it's about one to two sessions with this student, we'll focus almost exclusively on brainstorming. Uh, and that's where I'll ask students a series of questions about uh, what's your major intellectual interest? What are some of your personal values and, and how have you developed them? Where do they come from? What are some of your formative experiences um, that have helped you to discover what you're interested in academically? And how have you continued to explore or develop your academic interests? Um, so I'll ask students a lot of questions like that. But of course, I, I get much more specific with the brainstorming. So, you know, for example, if I ask a student, you know, what's your favorite subject in school or what do you think you might want to study in the future a lot of students will start broad say something like well i really i'm really into history and in order to understand exactly what about history is so compelling for the student i'll often ask more specific questions about like can you think of a specific class you've taken in history that was your favorite and in that class was there a favorite unit can you remember a favorite project of yours and then you know maybe they really enjoyed writing a paper on World War II or some aspect of World War II, I might ask them in, in more depth, well, what were what were your favorite things you learned during that writing process? And if you're kind of reflecting back on uh, that project, what was most exciting to you about what you learned? But then what if you had more time? What if you could continue that project? What would you have continued to explore more deeply? Those kinds of questions can be really effective in helping students uh, write college essays because one of the best things you can do as an applicant to a college is to show what am I interested in right now, but then also how would I use the, the resources at your college, including classes, professors, clubs, things like that, to further develop existing interests. So it's just as effective for students to know what they want to know and to be able to articulate that as it is for students to report what they already know. So we'll start with the brainstorming. We'll then move to how do we represent this story on paper? And so the next thing we'll do once we have a general idea of, of what kind of story the student wants to tell is we'll come up with an outline together. Coincidentally, my the outlines I design and help students design are usually about five paragraphs. It really has nothing to do with the traditional five paragraph essay that students are taught to write in school, which is, again, a whole different genre of writing. But just given the 650 word constraint, most outlines end up being around five paragraphs. And those outlines, they help students create a narrative arc that demonstrates personal growth and, uh, and tells the story of how they've uh, not only come to be the person that they are today, but how they've uh, come to be interested in whatever they are especially interested in or how they've developed certain skills. And, and so usually those narratives include, as I said, some kind of a, a scene at the beginning that's a hook that shows the student maybe doing something exciting uh, that's related to their academic interest. And then the rest of the essay might develop a story about um, how the student's uh, major experiences uh, have helped them to develop and refine their interest in whatever it is that they uh, most love. So we'll we'll create an outline and students will draft paragraph by paragraph. And uh, as they draft, we'll continue to meet and I'll give them feedback sort of paragraph by paragraph. Okay, here's what was really effective about the content you generated so far. Here's what I think is missing. Here's what I'd like you to go develop in the time between our calls. So a lot of the writing happens outside of our Zoom calls, since that's simply more efficient. Students, you know, we'll meet together, we'll develop a plan, and then students will be responsible for writing outside of those calls and bringing content that we can edit to the next meeting. And then we'll work together to refine that existing content and then to continue to develop a plan for where the essay will go. And then eventually the student will finish their, their first draft and we'll move into revisions and eventually to final edits. 